verify who is it. For those who are not familiar, it starts with the root of trust, uh, and it checks for an executes all the way up to stack. So it means that when we get to this point, you know you're at a, a known good state. So users can feel confident that they're logging in, not into some key log or something, something of that sort. Uh, so here you see that we have multiple users. I'm going to go ahead and log in so you guys can get a feel here. We also have a guest mode. Um, so people can log in, and as soon as they log out, all cookies, history, anything that they've done is, is wiped away. Uh, and in fact, uh, the whole setup time from first uh, box open to this point takes less than 15 seconds. So now, you're probably familiar with this if you guys are here, you're probably familiar with the Chrome browser. Uh, the, the point of making it the Chrome browser is that everyone knows what it is. Right? Well, you know what the web is and you know what a browser is. Maybe you're not so familiar with Chrome, but you know how to use the web. So this should be very intuitive for most users. Anyone who's used the web is going to know it. As well as the 160 million Chrome users that we have. You also notice that I'm already logged uh, in, on a number of different pages uh, and different applications. Uh, some that are that are pinned. Uh, this came from Sync, uh, so the Chrome Sync is able to store my application. So if I open up a new tab page here, it has my bookmarks, it has the applications that I had, it has the pages I had loaded, uh, and that came from Sync. So the fact that I logged into this machine doesn't really matter. I could go to that machine and log in as well, and these things would propagate over there. So the beauty of this is I can go and visit my parents in New York or go elsewhere and just log in and have instant access, be able to go, be productive as soon as I open the device. Some people say it's productive in zero seconds, I say negative five seconds because I've never had tabs open when I open my device. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and just go to some different applications. So I have my Gmail here. And you notice I'm already logged in. I didn't have to log in again, right? The whole point of this is I'm going to get you to the web as fast as possible, as productive as quickly as possible. Um, we can go to another application. Well, Cyrus has already beat me to it. Um, he, he started and stopped it, but uh, I can go to my new tab, app, new tab, and I can pick any application I want. In this case, I'm going to Google Talk. Uh, and I see my friends in a, a chat panel. And I, as Cyrus started over here, as he started a video chat. Yeah, it's all right. It's, this is what happens. And I won't interrupt his, his call. But we'll do 720p uh, with that camera. Uh, so you have high definition camera on Another neat thing is. Uh, um, you so might be asking, well, what if I'm on an iOS So again, site all these applications that I've made sync to the cloud. So now, there's a number of applications here, uh, and people often ask, okay, that's great, Gmail, chat, I know how to do these things on the web. Frequently, I'll get the question of, well, what if I want to do image processing, or I want to listen to music, and even if they've never done it, they just want to ask, right? It's just one of those things that sticks out. It's, it's the what if scenario. And I say, well, how about if, um, how about if we combine both those cases and say, not only are we going to image edit, uh, image it, edit images and play music, but why don't we do some video edit? So this is JCut. This is one of the applications on the web store. Um, I love using it. Uh, and, and what it allows you to do is, is actually pretty phenomenal. So we'll let this load. Uh, and I'll go back to home, actually. And what you can see here is that you have video A and video B. I'm going to load their demo. I don't want to process clips for you real time. Just lightly, or you can actually click the whole thing down. Oh, we can go to something else if it's misbehaving. So we'll, we'll start JCut, and you'll see so video A and video B. It had audio tracks, uh, it had uh, transitions. Uh, and the point of, of this is that I can do more things that you would associate with very powerful devices uh, on the web because we're leveraging uh, cloud computing. Like you can see here. Go back to this one more time. You can literally create presentation. You can do, you can do, you know, Visio type things if you want. You really don't want anything. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get returned back to that. So one, another thing that uh, we wanted to show up when it was called out was the multi-touch mouse, being able to go to a page and show very smooth scrolling. Right-click and know that this was a point of contention prior, so we wanted to make sure that to get it right. Uh, and, and, and just showing us how fast we can go through pages and how easy uh, to be, be able to manipulate web pages is uh, something that's very useful for users who wouldn't have had this before. This is something not necessarily uh, familiar for most users. Okay, so now that we've had different pages and different editors, okay, here you go. So you see different videos and with transitions, um, and there's some surfing and, and sunsets here. Let's say I want to put a train in here. It doesn't really make sense, but for whatever uh, purpose, I want to put this in. So I put that train sequence in there. Maybe I add a transition of, uh, let's see, double click or heart or let's try a circle. 
Oregon store, there's I put that down here. SD card. You can email it up the cloud storage. For instance, if you have an SD card, are you on Verizon right, network right, now or are you on Wi-Fi? Right, 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 right now I'm on Wi-Fi. Uh, this will be on Verizon as well. Let's say I want to preview this movie. So now what it's going to do is, on, on JCut server, it's going to process this movie, process these different clips, uh, and be able to <laughs> render for me real time this, this movie that I just made. Now, what, what's interesting about this is that it was able to do all of this in time that it would normally take to load a movie on a, on a different device. Um, so it just shows that when you have the, the power of the web, you really can do any uh, behavior, any action, or a task that you want to accomplish. Okay. So enough of uh, of applications. Let's go to resume. So you saw this somewhat before, but I, I close the lid and I reopen it, uh, and it's instant resume. I'm back to that New York Times uh, page that I was reading, and some may say, well, you may just turn the screen off and turn it back on. But in fact, we've actually put the machine into suspend RAM state and resumed it in that time. We put a lot of effort into it uh, because we want to remove the roadblocks of getting uh, to the web as quickly as possible. Another question that we will uh, often get is about media. So let's load uh, an online clip. Say we'll play the first uh, X-Men First Class. I'm looking forward to this movie. Yeah, and if uh, anyone wants to... He's, he's beating me to this. Uh, we skip ahead. You're all familiar with Gmail video. You can do full screen, no problem. You can do high definition, not a problem. This is Tinkercad. Having web media is, is something that you can do and, and not have to worry about. So. Let's, let's skip ahead. Is that playing Flash or uh, H.264? That is uh, playing Flash. You can do H.264, uh, H.264 as well. So is it entirely web-based, or can I download movies to watch on a plane or do things like that? Or is it purely web So that's a, that's a great question. Let me put this SD card in. And you'll notice that it detects that I, that I put a card in. And the, the, just to explain the mindset behind this, we didn't want you to have to understand where things are located or get things messed up. But you'll see I have a nice little arrangement here, documents, movies, music, pictures. So let's go to movies, since you mentioned it. And let me play my Chrome uh, speed tests. And you see it pops up in our little media player. And I can full screen this and it starts to start playing. So, by having that stored on that SD card or yep, USB key, that, uh, I, can, I can now update these. So there isn't on-machine storage big enough for a movie exactly or things right. like that? Um, so there is storage on the device, and there are HTML5 uh, APIs that allow local files. So you would be able to, uh, if someone had implemented it, just play uh, a video off the local device. So I can go through a number of different
Well, we'll drive the monitor. I mean, uh, if you're yeah, talking about monitor. window management. Yeah, just, um, no, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just yeah, the yeah, monitor. Yeah, no, we'll drive, we'll drive the monitor yeah, and USB.